Hey guys, Majungalala here with a Creative World Creation. This is going to be an obsidian block generator that is based on one that I saw by Flintishir. I will link that down in the description for you. The difference between mine and that one is that mine, you don't have to keep throwing lava in there. Uh, you just have to press a button and it'll generate the next obsidian block for you to mine. So let's get started, shall we? All right, so what you will need is some kind of block uh, that will help you place things. Some stairs. Uh, oh, we got seven here, but you actually only need three signs. A water bucket, uh, a dispenser, a command block. Uh, I have two here, but you really only need one button and then you need nine lava buckets now the reason you need all those lava buckets is because we're going to fill a dispenser with that and then we're going to use the command block to clone that and that is how we will keep the dispenser filled with lava so you don't have to uh, just pour lava and pour lava and uh, the button will be on the dispenser so let's get started shall we Bloop. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do is just place your placement block and you're going to put the stairs right on top of that and let's uh, get the things I'm actually going to need next here and get some of these lava blocks out of the way do, 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 do. so I can actually do this more efficiently. All right, um, so you can put the signs on every side of those stairs except the back. I guess you could put it on the back, but you don't need it there. And then put water in there immediately. Um, otherwise, you're liable to maybe forget to put it in later, and it is super important that it's in there before you start shooting out lava. Otherwise, you're going to have lava all over the place. All right, so you don't need that there anymore, but uh, you do need to have it over here to help you out with where the dispenser is going to end up being cloned and you just want to crouch there and stick a button on there. You can't have it on the top because um, because of this sign here. It'll get in the way. Um, now you're going to have your command block and your dispenser underneath this block here. So the dispenser is on the bottom and you're going to just fill that up with the lava. All right, and then your command block, just crouch and you can put it on top of that. And then there's our command. So with clone, if you're not familiar, you put in three sets of coordinates. The first two describe the beginning and end of the area to clone. And the last one describes the beginning of the area to clone two. So we're just cloning one block, so the first two coordinates are the same. They refer to the block below the command block, and the last uh, coordinate refers to the block above the command block. These are relative coordinates. That's why we have the squigglies there, um, tildes. And then um, we're replacing whatever is in the destination. So. It will just take whatever's below it, get rid of whatever's above it, and replace it with whatever is below it. So um, we can just go ahead and fill in those there. And once we push this button, boom, it's a dispenser. And we can get rid of that block. And we'll always end up with one of these being empty because it sh uh, will its last action will have been to shoot out some of that lava uh, but it will never have more than one empty so here we go now a different one is empty we can do this a whole bunch of times a different one is empty but still it's never more than one so that is it a little uh, obsidian generator for you in your creative world. 
Uh, hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you next time.